welcome back to one of my videos uh, been having a few problems with my bike today or for quite a while now but I'm running a, a remote filter and every time the engine gets hot the rubber starts to get soft and it's sucking itself into the carburetor so the first thing I've done is I've sort of modified my side panel a bit with the ball paint hammer yeah uh, not worried about the paintwork it's just trying to get the cut the rubber from stopping from being squashed so much um, but I'm gonna have to try and change things a little bit because it's you can't ride around with with a rubber air, air intake that's just getting sucked into your carb every time the engine gets hot the rubber gets softer and then it's more prone to getting sucked in and it's given me all sorts of problems with running so I'm gonna try and make something that's going to sort that problem out. Let's see what happens. Well, the first thing I've done is viciously attacked my side panel. As you can see, I'm not really too worried about the paintwork because it's scratched to hell and it's repainting. So I've uh, domed the uh, side panel with a hammer, put a little dome in there. So it doesn't squash the man of the uh, inlet rubber so much once I repaint this side panel uh, this will be nice you'll just see a little bulge in the side panel there for the air filter that's the first thing I've done uh, but I'm gonna do an insert for the rubber to stop it collapsing so that's gonna be my next little project so let's carry on from there yeah, this is my rubber intake. As you can see, I've got my manifold quite shortened, short as I can get it, but even when the side panel goes on, before, when it was just the normal side panel, it's completely flattening it like this. I mean, and then once it gets hot, it's just sucking it in. So I've done the outside of the panel to cup around this, this part here. And now I'm gonna make something that fits inside that holds the rubber rigid and doesn't allow it to collapse because this is crap yes disappointments but there's always a fix in there so let's go and do one okay more bodgery what I've done is got myself a big ball of plasticine and I've sort of shaped it to what I want then this is going to be what fits inside here it's slightly bigger so it actually has to be a tight fit inside there so I'm going to now coat this with some fiberglass and then when it's dry rip the plasticine out and I should have myself a nice little sleeve that fits inside and stops it from distorting and going out of shape. Let's see what happens. Yeah, more bodgery. Well, the simple fixes are the best. What we've done is we've mixed up some black gel coat with some fiberglass resin. Gel coat's just to give it some colour. And we've got some fiberglass meshing. And uh, now we're going to give it a coating and then we'll have to wait for it to dry so that's our gunk that we're going to use to make this little uh, reinforcing job and here we go let's carry on well there you go doesn't look pretty yet but somebody should have told me to put some fucking gloves on because my hands are covered in shit but it's a messy little fucking bodge up but that's it but this is pissing me off fucking rubbish look at it you can imagine when it gets hot in your engine it's like this chick's taking the piss it's just too soft it's no good right so now I'm angry I'm gonna fish all this plasticine out the inside of here and hopefully this is gonna be my cure okay <clears throat> that's uh, more or less my little 
fiberglass liner that we're going to put in that we've now made I've got my filter sitting in some hot water because I've made it slightly bigger so it's a tight fit so now we're going to slide it in and then later we'll be taking it for a test drive under hot conditions and hopefully it's sorted my problem and that's it slid in fairly easy so now we got that inside and as you can see it's nice and rigid so now it shouldn't shrink down and obstruct my air intake this seemed to be happening once you've got the engine hot if you hammer it through the gears you change gear and it just suddenly just sucked sucked down and reduced the airflow and you lost power it back off again and it would go back to normal but design fault oh, fingers crossed that's it happy days